we're in. Or we're loading anyway. Logging in. Alright, we are exploring in this cave still. Trying to figure out how to finish it. And everywhere, I think. I'm just kind of not sure what else to do. There was a, a high difficulty one I could beat, and I did. Here's a couple smaller ones. Jail door. Hmm, that seems familiar. room here is this stack it does not okay i'll take it and if i have to dump it i'll dump open jail door Ooh, another high level 36 Eat cooked meat. Use rope. Hmm. Oh, treasure chest is over here. Fully complete the stronghold of player safety. You open the chest, find large pile of gold, safety gloves, two antique lamps. Chest is the secret of the safety first emo. Of antique lamp. What XP would you like? Well, we need to get I think, plus five or plus ten of everything for other quests. So let's pick something we haven't done much of. Um. Cooking, we haven't done much of that, but that's easy. We'll just go grab and see what Level 12, okay, we don't need cooking. Archaeology? Sixteen, so we don't need archaeology. I mean, we need everything eventually, but looking for items and stuff. Cause there's a door up here. Open jail. These are the slowest cockroaches I've ever seen. There's stairs up there.
No one to fight. Oh, there's a worker. Another worker. Drone. I wonder what the dark area is. Is that area I have not been to? Or is that just the color of the ground in that area? to Dororan outside the Barbarian Village. Well, let's go that way. I'll try warping there. I'm just exploring in case I missed any chests or anything. This all looks kind of familiar. Did I just come through this area? Where's that level 36 one? I want to fight it one more time before I... You, a giant bug. Guess I can't attack it if I already beat it earlier. It was a one time thing. I'll keep poking around. See, see right here. If I click right there on the antenna, it lets me click on it. Ew, a giant bug. So I can look at him, I can complain about him, but I can't fight him again. Maybe I need a specific weapon or something. Alright. I have lost all ability to care anything else on this quest, so I'm gonna go look for this other quest. Upper level, you are here. Level. So, when I was on the middle level, I'm in the secure sector. When I was in the middle level, it said up to go to the upper level, but I think I've been all the way up and around and gotten everything. I'm pretty confident I've already explored everything. Let's go back. Let's go to the name of that area. Let's go back to the surface. We're looking for a barbarian village. Guessing this is the right one over here. Lauren. 
here and go south. Oh, bye. I found a mugger. And I beat him. Ooh. 45. I'll take that. Take coins, take bones. Examine cart, talk to Bruce, examine well, blah blah blah. Alright. Gunner's Grant, where are we? The mugger came back and attacked me. And I leveled up. He just, uh, I'm in a spawning spot. I could just hang out here and just keep beating him over and over again. One way to level up. Maybe I'll just go AFK and level up from right here. Bank deposit box. Okay, if I need to go to a bank. Don't worry, I won't do this all day. I want to figure out where we're going first. I'll pick up all the piles later. Alright. The Roaring. Outside the Barbarian Village. I'm close to the Barbarian Village. Any yeah, else I do call this RuneScape. Looking for runes to fill up my bag. Now where would Dororan be? What was that? Around the Barbarian Village. Map shows. Whoops. I'm trying to look at the map, not the never ending bone section. Bonds, bolts, sure. Why? Alright, I think I want to go south. South and then west a little bit. Forty-four. Okay, so it's going down slightly each time, but it's still pretty good. Slight prayer. Did I just level up prayer, or did they just give me points? Okay, so south would be this way. Catch butterfly. Aw. Good luck with that. Managed to catch a butterfly. You caught one of 15 daily. Just gives bonus XP. Doesn't take up space. This is good. I could catch butterflies while I'm looking for uh, Dororan. a million butterflies over here. You already caught your daily limit. Catch more tomorrow. Okay, that was short lived. Brevis, we just came from there. A unicorn. What do you do with a unicorn? Attack it. Black bear. Barbarian. Alright, so Bar Dororan is somewhere around here. So I'm going to do a circle around it. See if I bump into her again. Is 
clear all of our variants. Itara and Pekka have Exa has a name. Fine clay rock. That was an accident, but okay. Glad I don't have to carry that in my bag. Can you imagine if I had to carry this thing around? Even less space. Level up, level four, sweet. We do this. This is a way of leveling up. I wish I could go faster. Like, get more out of it. Kitties look so peaceful there. You know the camera's on them, so they. Pumpkin and firecracker. Pumpkin's the one that has white, firecracker's the one that's all orange. Critical swing, hey, that gave me extra. Look at all this clay. What do you do with the clay? Examine clay. Some hard, dry clay. Talk to Gudrun this time. What DeLorean? DeLorean. Back to the future, DeLorean. Anyone read Ready Player One or Two? Level five. All right. I'll return. I need to figure out how to dump all this clay. And I'm still looking for drawer. Ooh, fire pottery oven. Maybe I go to the oven and I put the clay in there, and it makes me a clay brick or something. I'm, I don't know. I've never done any pottery. Clay ring. I need a clay ring to make a clay ring. I have zero. Empty pot. I need a regular unfired pot. That's so weird. You need ingredient to make ingredient. Where do you get that? Do I like find one around here? Or potter's glue. I need soft clay. I just have regular clay. Hmm. Pete Barbarian Forge. Smith and... attack them, but I don't really feel like starting a fight when there's like 50 of them. They are asking me for accidentally clicking on them, I can tell. Saying, please click on me, I want to start a fight. Fisherman, three, open door. I'm like in the middle, so. Open, closed. Oh, I can't get him. I could attack him. Or he drops a key. Hmm, blood there. Interesting. 
Nothing here, but there is a door. Let's go out. Whoa. Talk to Hunting. He just appeared. What business do you have in our village, Outerlander? Exploring. What you have found is powerful tribe. Make your soft people tremble. Yeah, right. You look like primitive savages. You look like an arrogant fool. Which of us is the primitive? There's the Aurora and I found him. He just appeared in front of me. My heart with burdens heavy does it lie. Or never did I. Um. Ever learn to fly? Eat red berry pie? Get the evil eye? Eat red berry pie. You're a poet too? Maybe a bit? Oh, then maybe you can identify with the arduous state of my life. My heart is stricken with the most audacious of malat maladies. Cochlear ab absidosis? Eric? Angina? Hypertension? Love! The walls of my heart are besieged by love's armies. And those walls begin to tumble. In the barbarian village lives the fairest maiden I have ever witnessed in all my life. What's so special about her? I wouldn't know where to start. Her fire, fiery spirit, her proud bearing, her winsome form. But why is this making you sad? People of this village value strength, stature, and riches. I have none of these things. My people are indomitable warriors, dripping with gold and precious gems, but not I. I am built for combat, and poetry has proven a life of poverty. Oh boy. This is like Tangled all over me. Or the predecessor to Tangled, probably. There must be something you could do. If Godrin could ever love a dwarf, surely she would need to see my artisanry. Will you help me? I'm no crafter of metal. Here's the quest. <clears throat> Doesn't tell me what to do. Just talk to him. I need a ring of purest gold. Then we can engrave it with the words of my heart. I know the per perfect place to get a gold ring. Edgeville's metalsmith, Jerry, Jeffrey, labors like myself under the weight of requited love, unrequited love. Perhaps if you took one of my love poems to Jeffrey, he would trade it for a gold ring. You are given the poem. I'll return to the green ring from Jeff. Alright, so they gave me a map. Don't think I recognize this. It says he's Oh, there's there's the person, Gudrun. Well, bronze pickaxe, literal. Alright, we're looking for Jeffrey. He's not tall and metal. That's a different game. Picks, uh, okay, fine. Not seen here. I think they want you to explore, and that's the main reason. 
I doubt he's in here. Last time I went in here, I picked a fight. Gunthor. I'm gonna move on. It's crowded. Maybe I'll use the map. Hard to get in fights if you just go around the map. It said Edgeville anyway, so the fact that they boxed in the Barbarian Village is sort of a trick. It's not really a possibility, is it? Cockroach drones are outside. Student in there. It could be in that room, but I'm gonna go up here. Edgeville, yeah, okay. I think I'm in the right area. I bet it's one of these buildings. I want me to go all the way over here. Butterfly. Am I trying to catch this one? Oh, so this certain kind you have to fill up. So you have to get basically a couple of every kind. Okay, that's out of the out of the square. So I'm gonna go out of the right here. I doubt he's in that thing. But, although I do have a lot of coal. Okay, cooking is good to know to do here. Okay. Bruce, that's not Jeffrey. Got another butterfly. Oh, mugger, you're back. You shopkeepers don't mind a gigantic sword and a big fight right in the middle of your store? Completely amphibious. Can I help you at all? Yeah, what are you selling? Let's see if I can sell some of my clay. I have all this clay. I can't do anything. I can sell it for one. Sell all clay. Yay! I now have space. I'll go get clay again if I ever need it. Holding onto it, taking up space, it's just... So. And what were you selling here for? Okay, you have empty pot, empty jug. Hammer. You're selling... you can sell clay back to me. Interesting. Newcomer map. Jug. Bucket, bowl, tin, fender box, chisel, hammer. Okay. All boring stuff to me. I highly doubt he's in here. Jeffrey's not in the store. I don't think he's in the bank. Mr. X, no. Man, man, no. Oh, whetstone. What's a whetstone? I'm sure. Oh, there's Jeffrey. He's hiding in front of the whetstone. What is that? Moldor. Emissary is in. Okay. Keep it quick. What do you want? You're about a gold ring. You want to buy a gold ring? You want to sell a gold ring? You want to ask pointless questions about gold rings? I was hoping you would make me a gold ring. Trade you? Trade you for what? This splendid love poem. Love poem? What? That dwarf put you up to this, didn't he? 
I don't know any dwarf. I think he did. That cheeky little. He just can't leave it alone, can he? Fine, I'll trade you for the poem. What is it you want? Just a plain gold ring. Gives me a gold ring for the poem. Now leave me in peace. Well, that was it. What do you want? I want to use the furnace. You want to use the furnace? No one can use my furnace. Only I can use my furnace. Pickpocket guard. Oh. Ooh, a green butterfly. Still need a good button. Open coffin? And open coffin. Whoa, the person disappeared. Slay bounty and death match. Task system slayer body resolve. I don't know how you can get me mixed up. Enter crevice. Enter coffin? What? Don't you dare. Catch white butterfly. You have your limit. Catch green butterfly. Go for it. I'm gonna bury the bones too. Do it. You managed to catch them. Yay. Okay, so I got the ring. I can go back to that guy. I think he thinks that she's going to like the ring. for a loop of lustrous grandeur. No, that just sounds ridiculous. You brought me a ring from Jeffrey. A loop of lustrous grandeur? A gold ring. I have one right here. You show them the ring. In the ring. That's exactly what I need. Thank you. Now, would you engrave something on it for me? What do you want me to engrave? I've given this some thought. Gudrun the fair, Gudrun the fiery. How do I engrave that? Let's use a chisel on the gold ring. You have a chisel I can use? Here you go. Gives you a chisel. Isn't a chisel a bit clumsy for that? I've seen jewel crafters use it for all sorts of precise work. Use chisel on ring. You engrave Gudrun the Fair, Gudrun the Fury into the ring. Yeah, there's a lot of experience there. Six. All right. New gold necklace. Talk to Kumar. Is it done? Have you created the work of magnificent beauty? Time out perfectly. 
right, it's perfect. Can you do one more thing for me? Uh, of course. I fear she will only judge this poor book by its cover. Can you take the ring to Gudrun for me? Very well. Don't tell her I'm a dwarf just yet. I'm on it. Gudrun, you caught enough fish? Yes, I have plenty of fish. Your father needs many fish to feed the freedom. Freeman. I know. <clears throat> Maybe you sneak off to the Outlander City again. Buy fish in market instead of catching them. Shut up, I'm much better at fishing than you. You are not. Just guard the hut like a chieftain told you to. Fine. Stupid barbarian. Sorry about that, stranger. Did you want something? Are you Gudrun? Yes. This is for you. You show Gudrun the ring. It's lovely. There's something written on it. Gudrun the fair. Gudrun the fiery. Is it about me? Yeah. It's a beautiful gift, stranger. Thank you. The ring isn't from me. Oh, who is it from? A great poet. A tale teller. A bard? My people have great respect for poets. This man, he is from outside the village? Yes. I would love to leave the village and be romanced by exotic, handsome outlander men. There's a problem, though. With that, my papa the chieftain, he would never let an outlander pursue me. Why not? He thinks all your people are our enemies. So you want me to talk to your father? So you want me to kill your father? <laughs> Those are my only options. I suppose that might work. I've tried to reason with him, but it is impossible. Maybe he'll listen to you. I know some of the others feel the same, but they're loyal to Papa. I'll see what I can do. Alright. Chieftain, he's in the long hall. Be gone, Outlander. Your kind are not welcome here. I need to speak with you, Chieftain. Make it short. Your daughter seeks permission to court an Outerlander. What? Your daughter seeks permission to court an Outerlander. You have any idea who we are? You're barbarian. We are the storm that sweeps from the mountains. We are the scourge of these soft lands. Are you finished? We are the freemen of the ice. You think this is a settlement, but it's a camp of war. Chieftain, may I interrupt? What is it, Hacken? We have lived here since before the time of my father. Perhaps we are no longer a camp. Father, do you honor him, Hakun? Of course. And do you honor Warlord Gunnar? Of course, Chieftain. And why do you dishonor his name by abandoning what he fought for? We will honor our fathers, and we will honor Gunnar. Yes, Chieftain, you are wise. I am sorry. You, out Outerlander. What? You are not friends, you and I. We are not allies. Run back to Gudrun. Tell her to remember her forefathers. Tell her to think of Gunnar and that 
and what he would think of this insult. Now go, before I have hack and dismember you. I'd like to see him try. Come here and say it to my face, Outerlander. I am Hakon, champion of this village. You seek to challenge me. You argued with Gunthor. There is no argument. I honor my father and my ancestors. Do you want to settle permanently? You test my patience by questioning my loyalty to my chieftain. Take up my challenge, Outerlander, that I might honorably split your skull open. I'll take your challenge. Make peace with your friend, Outerlander. Ooh, this is easy. They were asking for it, really. When I'm done, I can use the chisel. There's even cooked meat sitting right here for me to eat. Because I get hungry and want to heal. Let's put it there just for me. And I can cook at the fire right there, too. Like the easiest battle ever. Oh. Uh oh. I beat him. I'll eat this cooked meat. I'll bury the bones. I reappear. All right, I talked to him. Now you let. I'd like to see him try. He challenged me. I beat him. Well, that's gone. He reappeared. I knew he would. Alright, so I could beat him over and over again. That was easy. How much experience did I get for beating him? More cooked meat. Yeah. Wonder if the beer actually heals me too. It does, it heals me 100. Alright, I'll talk to her. Whoops. That was a misclick. Poor Gunner! Wow. This barbarian is stronger than uh, champion guy. Chaos room, sweet. Alright, if I drink the beer. Wow. He's much healthier. That's better than good. He's not gonna be happy though. He magically got healed, so I'm not too. Bad. What else did he say? Or what did he say? Mention someone called Gunner. That you should think about his feelings. By the all eyeballs of Guthrix, always Gunner. Who's Gunner? My great grandpa. He founded this village a hundred years ago. You don't seem to share your father's attitude toward him. I think there's a difference between respecting my ancestors and obsessing over them. Papa thinks whatever stupid war gunner fought is still going on. I don't know, maybe your mystery man has some ideas. I'll ask. Did you give Gudrun the ring? What did she think? Did it capture her heart? 
There's a problem. It's because I'm a dwarf, isn't it? Or because I'm a poet. I knew it. I'm completely worthless. No, she liked the ring. Oh, well, then what's the problem? My most cruel is fate. Most cruel. Why? Why not? He's obsessed with the stories of his ancestors. He says his people are still at war. This village has stood for a hundred years. I heard him arguing with one of the others. He says his honor. He honors his ancestors this way. Really interesting. Do you know a lot about the village's history? Not really. I talked with Hunding, who guards the tower here. An idea occurred to me, but it is hubris of the greatest magnitude. What is it? What if I wrote a poem? Forged a sweeping historical epic. Crafted a tale to touch the chieftain's soul. Will that work? To win the heart of my beloved from her father's iron grasp. It is worth it just to try. Even the bloodiest rose must settle. Mixed metaphor. What settles? Detritus. That's hardly flattering. Even the roly, the rolliest boulder. How's the poem going? I'm stuck. I'm a worthless wordsmith. My work is pointless. My life is pointless. Sure, that's not true. Stuck on a word by the Colossus of King Alvis. I can't find the words. Maybe I can help. What sort of word? I don't know. I'm not some kind of word scientist. I just feel it out as I go. Maybe you could suggest some words to get me started. Then I can tell you more. All right, how about, uh, cucumber, monkey, ceridomin, barbaric, monkey. That really doesn't fit. It needs to mean something, like wandering aimlessly. Deviate, roam, veer, traipse, more words. Let's go with traipse. That doesn't fit. It needs to rhyme with the word day. Lay, array, may, hay. Lay. That doesn't fit. It needs to mean something like wandering aimlessly. Let's go with more words. Astray. Astray. And from the righteous propose never stray. There we go. It fits. It fits perfectly. Right meaning, right length, right rhyme. Well done. Poem still isn't finished. Though, so I have another missing word. Give me another one. Anything to get me started. Stockade, long sword, long sword, dungeoneering, grass. How about grass? That doesn't fit. It needs to rhyme with the word yet. Debt, sweat, upset, brunette. More words. Brett, regret, set, wet, set. That doesn't work. It needs to mean danger. Okay, that'd be threat. Rhymes with. But long is gone, the author of that breath. Perfect, yes. It's coming together. We're nearly done. One more to go, Shakespeare. This one is tricky, though. It's a phrase I need. Someone did something. Threw the ball, ate a tasty pie, schemed intentionally, went for a walk. Went for a walk. That doesn't fit. It used to be three syllables long. Picked a rose. That doesn't fit. It has to rhyme with lore. Clean the floor. Shut the door. It needs to be f started a fight. Aggressive. Started a war. 
picked a fight. Settled the score. Swept to war. Used, initiated a battle. Okay, st swept to war. Who then, in the face of madness, swept to war? That's it. That's brilliant. At last, it's done. I finished my finest work. Thank you so much for your help. Ready to present it to the chieftain? What? No, I'm a writer, not a performer. I think the chieftain would respond best if one of his people. Perhaps you could ask Gudrun to recite it to her father. He gives you the poem. I'll get on it. Since you seem to be frozen there. I didn't make the animation of you standing up. What have you got there? Another gift from your mysterious suitor. A scroll? It's a poem, a story to convince your father to settle down. You could recite it to him. Let me see that. Joe Gutter in the poem. Gunner's Brow. Yes, I think this could work. I'll go to the longhouse right away. How long have they been in there? You're too late. Or you're late. This isn't gonna work. You're so pessimistic. What was I thinking? Go in there and stop them before Gudrun makes a fool of herself. Don't be silly. You're right. It's too late now. We'll just have to see how it turns out. Can't hear what's happening. Can you hear what's happening? Gunthor is laughing at something. It's probably considering the various tortures he has planned for me. Now you're being ridiculous. Poem says you can honor your ancestors by settling peacefully on the land they conquered. You'll probably just find it insulting. Now's your chance to find out. You're doomed. I hope they at least give me a decent burial. Freeman, Freeman, I have an announcement. Hear the chieftain speak. Hear him. We have always borne the legacy of our ancestors, and we have borne it with honor. For Gunner. And though we honor him still, the time of our ancestors is past. This is the time of Gunthor. For Gunthor! Gunther says, This is Gunner's ground, bought with blood. Let it remain Gunner's ground forever. Here we settle. Gunner's ground! Gunner's ground! That was brilliant. I want to know who wrote that poem. Um, that would be me. Hello? Mine about beauty was for me, wasn't it? Um, yes. You're the mystery poet who sent me the gold ring. Sorry. I had no idea dwarves could be so romantic. Come here. Oh. Papa was so impressed by the Lauren's poem, he made me the mate. He's made him the village poet. I'm more than a little surprised. He even gave me a house to live in. Our people's tradition is that the tribe provides lodging for the poet. It's huge. It's not in the village. It's east of here, across the river and north of the road on the way to Virok. It's a big house with roses inside. I think Gunthor wants to keep me close, but not too close. Oh, I found something there for you. Whoever lived there before left a dozen pairs of boots in the attic. I picked out a pair for you to thank you for your help. Underneath all of them was a magic lamp. 
You should have that as well. We're going to the new house. You should come and visit. Yeah, we'll see you there. See you soon. I'll consider dropping it. Bye bye. Congratulations, you have completed. You got swanky boots. Now I can talk to Dororan about more crafting ideas. Yes. Level 8. Salmon Swanky Boots. Can't tell by the way I used my walk that I'm too busy for that for a map. For a natter. Blue. Okay. Antique lamp. Okay, so we need... Let's do... Let's do rune crafting. Oh, I didn't move up. Twelve of twelve. Okay, so I'm already level twelve, so that's not a good one. So I could go look for him or I could pick one of these other ones. This one now and see if we can do that. Marked on your map. Alright, so they said that guy was east in over here, so it could be this building or it could be far away. I don't know where. I think I'll I'll find it one day, I don't know. Ruined Memories is way down. I guess if I go here and then go south. I feel like I've tried this one before and it wouldn't. the mini map. to Arian. Welcome. Last time I talked to her, she wouldn't do anything.
think I'm close to finding out what happened here. I need to work on this on my own for a moment. Nope. I got a question. Do you know who removed the enchantment? Do you know who destroyed the old tower? Tell me about the four orders. Okay, so that was lame. I'm moving on. Well, let's pick a quest first. That way we know where we're going. Very, very long difficulty special. Art Stealer. Let's try this one. Okay, they renamed it Gunner's Grunt instead of Barbarian Village. That's cool. Where did they say that was? They, they marked... Oh no, this is where I'm looking. First floor of the house north of Edgefield Bank. I know where Edgefield Bank was. I was just there. Make sure. reappearing. This, I believe, is the bank. It is. That would make that the house. Just for any Fishing bait total. Likely the right house. Who am I looking for? Halen. The British name of a million extra vowels. There's Kaylin. I found you. The heart sealer. Look, Annie. An adventurer. Not here to rat us out on the guards, are you, mate? I don't know what she's talking about. We run a perfectly legal, law-abiding, and lawful operation here. Unless you're here to trade any goods we may have from the liberated, from the wealthy. Why shouldn't I call the guards? Tell me why I shouldn't call the guards right now. You're not in any position to take the moral high ground here. I can tell you at least some skill in thieving yourself. 
Why shouldn't I call the guards? You're not in any position to take the moral high ground. I can at least tell you have some villains key. Okay, I'm listening. We're always looking for people who are willing to help with our plight. What's that? To redistribute the wealth to, of Miss Thaland to the less fortunate, like ourselves. Well, yes. But we give it a lot of it to others in need. I see. I'm Mangle 3 am Pleased to meet you. Likewise, I am Annette. This is my wife. I'm sure you've already heard of me. I'm the mysterious, the daring, world-renowned Master Thief. Oh, what's the point? Sorry, Mangler3M. Halen's been stuck in a bit of a rut lately. Past few months have been nothing but petty theft, pickpocketing boorish nobles, and tax fraud. There's just no fun in thievery anymore. I told you, you just need to find an elaborate high stakes heist to get your kleptomatic heart pumping again. Anyway, I need to get going. I finally found a buyer for Duke Horacio's steel gold lawn gnome. Good riddance. Can't say I'm a fan of seeing a pair of 24 karat buttocks mooning me every time I go to the washroom. See you soon. Right. Mangler 3M. Now that Annette has gone, there's something I need your help with. What do you need? I knew I could count on you, mate. It's a matter of love or death. It's for Annette. I've been trying to find an amazing gift for our wedding anniversary, but I can't find anything good enough. It's tomorrow. I still have nothing... Don't have anything for her. Where do I fit into this? Ned's buyer is, a f is in Falador, so she should be gone long enough. You see, the Baroque Museum is hosting a, a gala this evening to celebrate the donation of a ridiculously expensive art shaped ruby. It's everything she loves expensive, art shaped, red, and it doesn't belong to us. Yet, but even if I can't pull off the heist like this on my own, I need your help to infiltrate this party and steal the ruby. What do you say? Are you in? I'm in. Cheers, mate. Now let's get started. There's a few things we need to do before we can start the heist. We need disguises if we're going to sneak into that party, and I have just the seamstress in mind. We need to find some plans for the gala so we know what we're dealing with. Smoke bombs are an essential tool in both burglary and showmanship. Two of my favorite things. I need your help making some. What should we do first? Let's get the disguises. Good choice. The Salia is a seamstress who runs a store. Salia's fine clothes over in Baroque. We should have something we can use. Here's some gold. That should cover everything. Obtain disguises from Thessalia and Baroque. Kaelin hands you a small amount of coins. You place them in your pocket for safekeeping. What should I look for? Uh, not sure. Gala will be a formal affair, so let's get something classy. Masquerade masks to conceal our identities. I hear they are all the rage among the nobility right now. I'm on it. Find something that'll look flattering on me. Alright, look for a clothing store in Vero. General store.
could be the general store, but I'm not sure. There's a cook's guild over there. We'll go here and look. Such a goody two shoes. You could be anyone. Might even be here to steal our stuff. Don't mind old Grumpy over there. She's more likely to steal something from me. I even quit. I do have a name, you know. It's Moira. Not that anyone cares. And if you're the good twin, why do you say such mean things? I am your sister, you know. What just happened? Did you two switch places? My evil sister was suggesting that although I'm the good twin, thinks I'm the bad sister. And after everything I've done for you, you're so, so ungrateful. Me ungrateful. Who is this who's putting food on your table, on the table and keeping a roof over our heads? All the volunteer work and kind deeds that you do don't exactly pay the bills around here. Are you teleporting? Swapping personalities? Are you even aware that's happening? Oh, me. You don't have to resort to a life of crime. Get some honest work. You brought me so much shame to our family. You mean on you? You think I made you look bad? You two are really confusing. Well, we are twins. People catch you, st you stealing. <clears throat> then when they see me, I, all I get is dirty looks and tutting. I was nearly arrested again, just last week. Yeah, so, actually, you make a good point. Look, let's not fight. We have company. Nope, I give up. I'll just get go. Oh, you're right. Silly me. Hello there, I'm Molly. Hear about that? You might be Moira again. If I give you a, it a second. What an odd thing to say. Of course I'm Moira. Hello, I'm leaving. Let's ignore him. This he's clearly a weirdo. That was weird. Cabbage. Beef. Who oh, I'm somehow fighting by. Stray dog? Do away stray dog. Um, in the cooking area. Pots. There's so many pots around here. I'm down ladder. And in doubt, explore. Just may find something that's.
or you might find nothing. Johnny the Beard, Dr. Harlow, Build Masters, Lomia. Parts to there. It's funny. I thought I finished this one. It doesn't say that it's still open. I mean, it's maybe I have it. I think. Hmm. Oh, Kaylin. That's the name. Now these people are killing. Charlie the Tramp. See any Kalins in here? I like the glass windows. Maybe they all have that. But they're chasing me. Don't they know I'm the center of everything? I wish they would mark it on the map. I mean, that one looks like clothes. But it's in here. Salia. Hmm. Art Stealer. Hello, can I help you? Looking for a pair of costumes for our gala this evening. Ideally, something that conceals the wearer's identity. Oh, I have a plethora of fantastic gowns, suits, and masks. You have a budget in mind? Here's the money. Oh. That's all she gave me. You'll be able to get two masquerade masks from this. But they'll be secondhand with unusual stains. That's fine. Wait a minute. Concealing identities, suspiciously low budget. This she wouldn't happen to go by the name of Kaylin, would she? Possibly. Oh. At least she's paying me anything at all this time. Though I have half a mind to take her ill-gotten beans and chuck them right back into her snug face. But unfortunately I need all the gold I can get. I blew all my savings buying materials. Make the largest top hat in all of Illinois. Right. Here, take the masks, but tell Kaylin this is the last time I'll accept her morally repugnant repren- Comprehensive and positively vile patron. Hands you two masks in exchange for the gold. I will. Thank you. Alright. Get it. Oh, I can actually talk to her about another quest while I'm here. Talk about once upon a slime. Hi there. How can I help you? This is going to be a tough one to explain. I'm listening. You ever heard of a uh, king slime? How could I not have? I still have nightmares of the chaos he caused in Remington. As I lie in bed at night, sometimes I can still hear the gloop, gloop, gloop. I'm sorry. It's okay. It was just such a rough time in Gil for Gilinor. I'm just glad it's all behind us. Uh, I'm afraid I have some good news and some bad news. The good news. King Slime Fiasco is definitely behind us. Bad news? Um, it's also in front of us. No, you can't mean. I'm afraid so. Tell me everything. Well, pretty much the same situation as last time, except now there's two of them. Two slimes? 
Yep, a king and a queen. I swear. Has this imbecile been messing around with this jelly again? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, what do you need from me? This may sound strange, but Peter asked me to get a top hat for the king. He has a crazy plan to make the queen fall in love with the king in the hope that they'll cease their violent ways and live happily ever after. Guess that could work. Yeah, I'm not sure, but it's worth a shot. But anyway, I don't suppose you happen to deal in ridiculously large top hats. Well, actually, it's funny you should say that. You'd have to have been living under a rock to not have heard of my world record attempt that I mentioned to you about five minutes ago. Um, I'm well known around here for being the creator of the second largest top hat in Gilinor of all time. Right. That's actually oddly convenient. Can I borrow it by any chance? Go for it. Anything to save Gilinor. Thank you. I hope this works. Good luck. Hands you a very, very large top hat. I can wear it. I think this hat might be a little big for me. All right. We had the quest that was going on over here, Heart Sealer, in progress. So we need to go back to there. We do that slime thing maybe after we're done with this. The person was over here across from the bank upstairs. Is that right? Alright, that is right. Okay. Next part, and then if we run into slime, we can grab that too. Here they are. You hand them the disguises. Here they are. A lot less than what I was expecting. Essie said that this was all we could afford with the gold you gave me. What a joke. Usually I get far more for far less. Because you steal it? Exactly. He also said this was the last time she'll accept any morally repugnant, reprehensible, and positively vile patronage. That's a whole two less adjectives than she used last time. I must be growing in it. Now on to business. We still have some things we'd need to do before we start the heist. We need some plans for the gala. So we know what we're dealing with. Smoke bombs are an essential tool in both burglary and showmanship. Two of my favorite things. I need help making some. Let's case the joint. Perfect. Knowing the layout you're working with is vital to any heist. I'm sure the museum's curator, Peg Halen, got plans for the gala on him. Swipe the plans from him. Use this specialist tools to make a copy. If you can plant the original back on him, he should be none to the wiser. Alright. Sheet of paper and some crayons. Specialist tools. Crayons and a sheet of lined paper. Even a coffee stain. The stain adds care. I'll get started. Good luck. Alright, I need to go to a museum. And look for Hague Hill. 
altar. Hmm. Doubt it would be called museum. No. Usually they give you a little box. Furnace anvil. General store. I have a feeling it's over here in row, just because it's such a big place. Museum most likely be. I haven't been to these rooms over here, or at least they're red. Oh, I'll go here and I'll just look around. It. Sign this maybe we'll talk. It just says the inn. But that looks like it might be a museum. Uh, it says shop. Shop keeper. Unless it's a gift shop. It might be. Just here. Market card shopkeeper. So this is another store. It's not looking like a museum.
world map doesn't give much detail, does it? Um, maybe it's up here. Silverlight Crypt. Altar. No. So many buildings. I have no idea where to go. Over here, oh, those look like swords. Now. Flags of swords. Aha! This looks like a museum. There's Hague. Found you. Welcome! Pickpocket. Make the plans for our crew copy. Put the back original back in the pocket. What do you think you're doing? Why? I was just uh, I remember I needed to get some groceries, decided to jot down a shopping list. What exactly does your shopping list have include annotated drawings in the museum? You know, I was just downstairs. I think someone may have accidentally locked Mr. Mardo inside the Red Dragon exhibit. What? Not again? Curator rushes off. Wow, that was close. Found it. Let's go back here. Me again. Never ending, let's tell you. Oops. Sorry, dude. I saw the sword out. You have the plans? Here they are. Great. What's the last thing? Smoke bombs. My favorite part. And everything you need around the room. It's a work... <laughs> a workbench for bashing things. Some parts for the mechanisms. Stinky fish for putrid odor. Powder for explosive. Follow my instructions and shout them out while I have a perfect set of smoke bombs in no time. Be quick though, otherwise they'll explode. You ready to get started? I'm ready. Need stuff some something powder. Ready for another go? That was tougher than I expected. Make it a bit easier? Yes. 
That was impossible. I didn't know I needed no ability. To It'll take longer, but also point you in the right direction. Give them a bat. Stuff extra powder. Aren't smelly enough. I see the arrow. Extra parts. Give them a bash. Extra parts. Give them a Stinky odor. Give them a bat. Last one. Finished off the smoke bombs you asked for. Thanks. That was looking good. Looks like we that's everything. Ready to start the heist. Meet me outside the Veroque Museum and we can begin. The gala should be starting soon. Truth be told, I'm a bit nervous about this. It's been a long time since I pulled off a heist like this one. I hope I haven't lost that spark for good. Give her a pep talk. I'm sure you can do it. You're a world renowned master thief, and I'm here to help. Yeah, you're right. Thanks, Bank Lutheran. Anyways. You ready to get started? Yep. I'm ready. Perfect. Here's your disguise. Hands you a mask. Now, get that on. We have a museum to run. You ready for the gala? Yep. I'm ready. Nice one, mate. Let's get going. How exactly did you get these invites? Were they expensive? It was about 10 gold to rent the printing press. These are forgeries. You don't get far in the business if you can't far just sim forge a simple party invitation. How do you think me and Annette were able to swipe to Caracio's Bejeweled birthday cake. Master Thief and a Hero. Such a peculiar partnership. I wonder what brings you to this little soiree. How do you... Don't worry, your secret safe with me. For now. What was that about?
She must be a twisted villain, here to steal the ruby for her own selfish purposes. But Kaelin, we were here to steal the ruby too. But yeah, we aren't villains, we're just er differently motivated heroes. Wait? Yeah, because Kaelin's distracted as a noblewoman walks past, casually swiping the purse her handbag and rifling through its contents. Wait, well, what was I talking about? Never mind. Let's check out the basement. According to the plans, that's where the ruby is being. Basement's off limits. We'll find the gala upstairs. I see, thank you. If you want to get there, you have to create a diversion. Let's head upstairs, see if we can find someone who will make a distraction for us. Drunken Dwarf will do it. Hello there, my inebriated friend. Ha, ah, I ain't inebriated yet, matey. Unfortunately, the party is drier than the Cardian. Can you believe there's only one drink token per person? Say, I, if we were able to get you some drink tokens, would you be willing to cause a bit of a scene for us? You know, to liven things up? If you find me four drink tokens, I'll do whatever you want. Sounds like a plan, then. Grab our tokens from one of the bartenders. Then we can try working our charm on the other guests. See if they can be persuaded to part with theirs. Do you happen to know where we can get our free drink tokens? Of course, just show me your invitations. I get that sort for you right now. Show them the invitations, and you a drink token each. I heard it's only one token per person. It is. Apologies for any inconvenience. We have quite an extensive crowd. Guest list. Drinks are in short supply this evening. Though I believe the curator arranged for the shortage. Given some of the more eccentric partygoers we're expecting tonight. That's alright. Oh, this is delicious. I never had vintage Caridian spiced wine before. You used your token, Kaelin? What were you thinking? Bartender smiled at me and everything. How could I say no? Let's pickpocket a token from one of the attendees to make up for it. You reluctantly hand her your drink token. Why would I give it to her? She's just going to spend it which she stores in her coat for safekeeping. I just need to get a hold of three, three more drink tokens now. Amazing don this amazing donation will make a great addition to the museum. You carefully reach into the pocket and take a drink token out. Nice one. You're getting good ones. Just need two more. What a wonderful gala. The curator has really outdone himself this time. We've already strolled a drink token. Let's not risk getting caught. I hear you two have need to find some drink tokens. What of it? I may be willing to give you mine, only if you can defeat me in battle. In battle? In a dance battle? Why a dance battle? Of all things. What's a gala heist, gala heist without a dance scene? He has a point. We accept. We accept. You sure about this? The whole thing seems pretty suspect. We need these tokens. You're right. We'll have to take this one, though. I can't dance to save my life. 
no matter how much Annette tried to teach me. It's time to put your boogie where your mouth is and join me on the dance floor. Let the battle begin. Impressive. Bravo, bravo. Meh, I've seen better. Not bad, not bad at all. You definitely earned this. Two down, two to go. Just need one more now. So this cheese is created by fermenting a white fluid gathered from lactating animals. Well, yes, but I pr promise you it's a lot nicer than that makes it sound. You're welcome to try it. Try some if you'd like. I'll pass. Hello, Mr. Mardo. I hope you're enjoying the party. I am indeed. What a splendid soiree. Helen has organized. Helen has organized. The Necronia and Orthon certainly have their charm exploring dragonkin history. Directly is invigorating. But it's nice to be back at the museum, if only for a moment. Say, my good man, or dragon. You happen to have a spare drink token, would you? I do still have mine. Can't say I have much interest in redeeming it. I was promised a full cheese platter this evening, but I have yet to see anything of the sort. I'll tell you what, if you find the elusive cheese, I'll give you my token. Let's have a look around Mangler 3, and the platter should be around here somewhere. I haven't talked to him. How are you finding the party? Having a pleasant evening. Really, Dizzy? This party is duller than Ditchwar. Don't you think we spice things up with a little robbery? We did back at the Wizard's Tower? Perhaps you could steal that ruby that won't stop going on about for ourselves. It would be oddly romantic. Don't be silly, Zinni. You saw how much security the museum has in place tonight. Would be foolish enough to try stealing that thing on a romantic whim. Yeah, we could do something like that. By the way, I don't suppose you have a spare drink token. I downed our two glasses the second we got here. Not that it's helped. Things pick up for you, you and me both. So we got food behind them, but I don't see cheese. Hmm. There's some more attendees over here. I could try pickpocketing one of them. But I don't think they want me to pickpocket. What a wonderful gala. The curator really outdone himself this time. Great to have an opportunity with so many different people. Oh, drawers over here. I must be out. Um, examine staircase. It doesn't let you go up the stairs. Hmm. Could go downstairs and look for cheese. Yeah, you can only examine the staircase. I think I've done everything there is to do, except we're going to find some cheese. Anybody seen cheese?
We'll go down and look for cheese. Maybe this bartender can give me some cheese. Let me know if there's anything I can help you with. Looking for cheese. General bent nose, general work face. Body riding. How are you finding the Kayla? Uh, it's fine. You know, galas aren't everyone's cup of tea. For me, it's an evening I, I don't have to be the acting guildmaster grinding girl for once. You can just be Lottie, you know? I understand. Maybe when we find an official replacement for Tony, there will be less pressure. Really? I don't suppose you have a spare drink token? I'm afraid not. Couldn't resist the spiced wine. No problem, enjoy the rest of your evening. This amazing donation will make a great addition to the museum. Yeah, you sound just like the other person. Great to have an opportunity to chat with so many different people. Okay. Blood is red. Love bruises is blue. Me love roses. You smell like shoe. Chocolates is best. For love so true. You smell of yak. You look like one too. So much poetry. I have a feeling they wouldn't give us a drink token even if they had one. Basement is currently off limits. You can find the gala upstairs. See you, thank you. you enjoy sneaking into events like this, it's a completely different world from the one I grew up in. I'll talk to her. Let's do this. He's just gonna say we have maybe to throw parties city wall for a while. Alright, what do we need to do? She's gonna say we need cheese. One more token. Mordeaux's cheese. Right, so we need to find someone named Mordeaux. Yes. We'll talk to the curator. I'm busy. be not in this building. That could be the reason. Although that's kind of annoying. I would pick one thing that's... I didn't talk directly to him. Didn't expect to see an Ilajanka here. Where are you from? I am from... I hail from Aia, home world of my people. I arrived on Gilanor with several of my kind only recently. I have been teaching Mr. Mordeaux about the ways of the Lejenka in our history. He, in turn, is showing me the culture of Gilinar, such as this Gale. Are you finding it? It's fascinating, very different to celebrations back home. Is the food always this small here? Nope, it's definitely just a pompous, noble thing. You should see the parties me and Annette throw over in Edgeville. I would like. Nice to meet you, Carthalo. I hope you enjoy the party. Likewise, friend. Before you go, I don't suppose you have an extra drink token. I'm afraid not. Couldn't pass up an I opportunity to try the wine. 
quite nice. Doesn't compare to the red cane rum. Thanks anyway. I think I've talked to everybody in this room. Maybe if I talk to the dwarf, he'll say, oh, the cheese is Got those tokens? Not all of them, only three. Dying of thirst over here. Sealed off. Sit and look for cheese out here. Not yet. Okay, so maybe it's something we have to find while we're in there. I mean, where else could it be? It could be in the city somewhere. Any stores around here? No. Could be in the palace, although that's an awkward place to go. Can't recall anywhere else that has cheese. I doubt I have cheese. Go to the bank and see if I put some cheese in the bank. Maybe. All kinds of stuff. You guys should sit there doing nothing with me. Church. Cheese. Milk. Making space. Safety. Hmm. Hey, they do so. Is the beer stack? I don't know if I'm going Swanky boot. See any cheese. I feel like it's got to be in there. I think you have to go out and start for this one quest. I remember where I was at.
get a beer. Search crate. Hey, I found something. Found a crate. Maybe there's cheese in it. There's a cheese platter in here. Wonder how it got in there. Did you just... Never mind. Time to give it to more dough before it gets warm. Sweet. Accidentally found it. That's how it works. Alright, more dough. Found the cheese? Here you go. As promised, here's my token. Don't spend it all at once. Put it into her coat. Let's go to the dwarf. Got him. Here you go. Thank you both. Now the scene. Your thing. What do you want me to do? Start the distraction. Yep, as soon as you can. Here goes nothing. Hey, I suppose it's host. Oh, uh, whoops. My dress, it's ruined. I'd say it's an improvement. What was that? Ah! Oh, lady's right. Don't let the goblins in here. Order, order. Order this, you pompous prat. Zenobia Viva throws her glass, missing the curator by barely an inch. Sarah Doman, save me. Guards, get this under control. All the... Are all part... The Lenorian parties this violent? Not at all. I can hardly bear to watch such depravity. Yet I cannot look away. Couldn't you be a deer and pass me the Gorgonzia? Let's go down to the basement while they're distracted. Who do we have to fight down there? I'm guessing. The other thief. Do you see that? There's the ruby. Looks like there's some kind of barrier protecting it. According to the plans, three power sources. One in each of the other wings. Must be a way we can disable them. Try pulling the lever. We'll have to sneak past the guards. Looks like there's some empty boxes around you can hide in, too. We got our work cut out for us. Let's get started. Alright, so that's that. Then I need to go this way. Where am I heading? I'm heading to a lever. I go to the right and go, I think I probably go to the middle. Looks like that's blocked, so. give me much of a view, do they? Whoop! Stop right there! Like Metal Gear Solid. Let's try again. Step over the rope, huh? What?
Maybe I have to go to the right. Okay, there's a study plaque. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Now. Now is not the time to be playing with exhibit. Maybe there's a shortcut I just don't see. It's something about hiding in a box, but I don't see any box. I've tried going to the right, I could not go anywhere. Let's try going to the left. Left was the way to go, okay. I think I got it, now I got the lever, yes. One down, two to go. Now, will they save my progress? So I can start the next one with one down and I can do it again. We'll find out because I'll probably fail on this one. Alright, we can go to the right or to the right. That's good. Guessing it's back there or there. He's going to hang out there for about two seconds. Don't want to go to the left while he's over here because he's going to turn around. Yeah. But then if I go over there, then that one will be there. I need to follow him. Ah, too slow. be a tough one because I have to go really quick and not click on her. Excellent. Another person way over there. Go, 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 go. Hiding crate. Ah, too slow. I made it into the crate, but then I misclicked or something. too fast.
We have to stay ahead of him. Okay, he's gone. Hide in the crate, quick. Don't turn this way. Hide in the crate. Oh my gosh, it worked. Pull the lever. Pull the lever. Got it. Two down, one to go. We're making progress. Almost done. Alright, now I have to figure out where the last one is. Guessing it's over here. Or it could be behind. I'm gonna go with behind. I went to the left, I went to the right. Oh, there it is. Okay. Where they have entered door. I wonder what that puts in there. Door is locked. Okay. It's in All right. Backwards. Hiding crate. They have a crate up there to hide in. Whoa. Watch out. No, no, no. Can't go there. Okay. Guess I gotta go to the right. The fact that I got two after getting the second one is great. Let's see. I do that one again. So close. How am I going to get back? Maybe they turn left at some. You know what? I'm going to go here. You see, it did pick up when she was hiding. That's when I was hiding. Ah, I clicked on it. Why did it click on the one after it? I had it. Magic trick is when he turns that way, then I go that way. And I don't misclick on the crate over there. Oh, too slow.
too slow. Alright, well we are very close to finishing this quest. I think this is a good stopping point, so I'm going to go ahead and take a break here. Um, we'll definitely finish this up first thing next stream. Um, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it and look forward to next time. See you later.